something has just caught my attention. I don't know if it's a branch that's maybe broken off or something. Looks quite. No, it's a kill. Oh my goodness. There's a kill in the tree. An impala ram. When is this from? This is so interesting. Now we've just pulled off the road just slightly. We were on Biffles of Cutline and in this Marula tree, obviously sitting with the vultures, something just caught my eye as I turned around to answer your, your question about which bird I really want to see out of the worldwide birds. And I saw something red. And initially I thought, oh, maybe it's from the elephants. Maybe the elephants have broken down a branch of the Marula because you know the, the cambium layer and the heartwood of the Marula trees is actually a beautiful uh, red color. It's, it's quite lovely. And then look at this, an impala killed on the top of the tree. Now I don't know when this is from. It doesn't look fresh. I want, it couldn't have been Mvula because we would have seen Mvula coming here. Because we're not far from where we saw him sitting at that burrow of the warthog. So it's, it's somebody else. Now I know they've just said to me that they had a, a leopard. I think they said a male leopard, not far from Tomboiti Dam. We're a little bit of a way out, that's slightly more west from us. But definitely a leopard that's taken this carcass up a tree. Should we do a bit more of investigating around? But that's quite interesting. And there's nothing left of it. Let's drive around the base of the tree. I'm going to get out and actually have a look and see if we can see any signs. See, the, see if we can find the claw marks of the leopard that's gone up of this tree. So many mysteries. This is really interesting. Actually, if I, let me go forward again for you, Sebastian, then we might be able to get a, a view here. I'll park a little bit further away. Hey, look at all these mysteries. How's that? Is that a bit better? Okay, yeah. I'm going to jump out while you actually have a look because I want to go up to the tree and just to do a bit of investigating. How interesting is this? Now, I have checked around to make sure that there isn't a leopard or anything laying in the grass. But like I said, this is not particularly fresh. I actually can't really even see any little bones and things that would be down at the bottom. So obviously the hyenas have got to use this tree. Yeah, it's quite old. I would say maybe a week old. So I'm just looking at the skin. And you can see it's not very nice. I'm going to find where this leopard went up. Yeah, there's a little bone down here on the ground. Oh, I don't have my multi-tool on me. Maybe not, maybe not even a week old, maybe slightly. I'm going to bring this to you. I'm just having a look here. <laughs> Are you hungry? Ribs? Anyone? That's terrible. That was such a bad joke. Just forget I even said that. Um, if you look very carefully, Seb, all the way up here, you can actually see the bits of, like, for instance, over here, you can actually see the bits of b uh, bark that have been pulled off of the tree. And if you go all the way up, you can follow it. So that's the root that that leopard has taken to climb up the tree. That's really cool. We can see a couple of claw marks as well going in. And that's amazing strength. I mean, just in comparison to see how tall I am and how high that kill is. Imagine standing down here with a fully grown impala ram and being able to take it up. I'm going to go, must be at least four meters just before it even gets to, to where that impala is, probably six meters up quite easily. That is spectacular. This shows you the strength that a leopard actually has. And I'm going to bring this part across to you so you can have a closer look. And also I'm going to plug my earpiece in. It doesn't actually smell very nice. I mustn't put that near my face. Otherwise I might get sick. And look at this. So Megan, I am plugged in now if you have got a question or anything for me. <laughs> and Roshni, you are actually wondering what it smells like. I'm going to just hold it. Sorry, I keep getting... The wind changes direction and it blows right up my face. It's not um, it's not a rotten smell just yet. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe it's actually not that old. Maybe maybe three or four days old, just shy of a week. You can still see it's quite a bit of flesh here. But we would have seen a leopard up in this tree. I can't believe we've actually missed this because we've driven around here now so often. It's very very interesting. But this is a rib bone, and they, that other than this one on the ground, that's it. So the hyenas have obviously been around snatching up all the little scraps. Right, let's throw this back. 
I was worried I was going to do one of those, Sebastian, and then the rib bone was going to go towards you. Can you imagine? I, yeah, I, I would be making you coffee for you for the rest of my life.